check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And in today's video, we are going to give you a tour. We, me, myself, and I. <laughs> I've been talking about giving you guys a tour of the scent closet for a mighty long time. If you've been on the channel any amount of time, I normally focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And we go through fragrance houses, we choose our favorites, and then we bring them into the collection. So today I want to give you guys a little update, a little, you know, I did a revamping of the closet here. So I do want to give you guys a personalized tour here. Um, don't believe I've done a video on it. I think I did a short one time when I did reorganize about a year over a year ago actually um so i hope that you guys can take away maybe some ideas on how to organize your own closets how to utilize your space i don't have a huge space and loving to layer my fragrances and body care and all that gets kind of tough when you know things become very cluttered <laughs> so um yeah without further ado let's go ahead and give you guys this tour i will be going little section by section i will not be going into individual scents and houses and all that we have you know plenty of reviews on the channel so far so oh i hope you guys enjoy this please bear with me i've not done the point of view in a while so hopefully it's um you know, not, not really shaky, bad quality. But thank you to everybody who has joined on this journey so far. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys, and I hope you enjoy the tour. Thanks. All right, you guys, here we go. First little view here is where I stand right here to go ahead and talk to you guys about these amazing fragrances. Um, I ended up doing like a little waterproof thing over my little perfume carpet because, um, yeah, I wanted extra protection because I'm always fumbling around with uh, fragrances and I didn't want to drop and break any while filming. Um, here you can see my beautiful setup, my little, I know that they probably sell stands and all that goodness, but hey, one day I was uh, reviewing, uh, what is it called? Oh my God, it's so dirty. That's unbelievable. <laughs> this is where I hold up my, uh, you know, where I film. So a little behind the scene action there. Very, very innovative. <laughs> Um, and I do have a stand, but hey, you know, I just feel this is what I started with and this is what I will continue to, how I will continue to film my videos until, um, I'm not even sure. It's a little sentimental at this point. <laughs> um, anyways, right here I have set up my oil perfumery and my, I have not reviewed Oaksha, but I did get full, four full size bottles in. I lie. I have reviewed Oksha on the channel. I've done about, I did their sampler pack actually. Now here we have Royalty Scents, which is the subscription service that I'm subscribed to. They do have amazing niche qualities. Um, what is it? Fragrances, travel sprays, really, really nice. Um, quality and the fragrances that they carry are good as well. Now here we have all of the um, oil perfumery that I'm telling you guys, I really need to reintroduce, really need to reintroduce these this year. Um, I put also a lot of my decants up there when I'm talking about them and you see me reaching for stuff. It's normally from this little carousel. And then here is where I have my stand that I go ahead and show you guys exactly what we are talking about for the week. I like to display it there so it'll pop out in the video. You'll always know what we're talking about. All right, guys, on to the body care. Oh, my knees literally have bruises, but I'm going to go ahead and kneel down for you guys here. Um, little back it up here, back it up. Here we have all of our body care. This is Bath and Body Works. This is Victoria's Secret. And then we also have some uh, indie perfume brand body care. Let's go through it real quick here. I have pretty much set up all of my vanillas and um, summertime scents. I tried to group them by scent profile, kind of you know, uh, for example, right here we have raspberry tones. Right here we have vanilla with orange and peach. So we have a little citrus. Um, at the top we have uh, a little more vanilla 
and um what else some champagne toast just some staples we got going on there and then over here we have our fruity scents and then our little mini travel sizes as well uh it's all bath and body works you guys i absolutely love this stuff i have a couple rows back here <laughs> that one a little less but i do have quite a bit quite a bit of rows of Bath and Body Works, um, but it won't be too hard to find since I have pretty much set it up by, like I said, scent category, which is normally how I have my things uh, pretty much set up. So here we have um, Victoria's Secret Body Care. I don't have as much Victoria's Secret as I do Bath and Body Works. It's just literally one and a half little shelves there. <laughs> um, I absolutely love, as you can tell, Bath and Body Works, Body Care. Okay, moving on to the indie brands. I have set them up here. We have some indie brands up top. Wonderful houses we've been discovering lately. Here we have Kais Perfumes. We have some full-size bottles, little 3mls. I normally start off with a 3ml, bump it up to a 6ml if I'm using it a lot. I went with Kaisi Bonbons Eleven A 30 up to a 60ml already. Um, and those up top are 30 mls. Absolutely love the House of Kais. Did I say Kaisi? <laughs> it's Kais. Here we have Sugar Milk Company. Adorable, edible smelling scents. If you're a gourmand lover, check out some of those reviews. Also, everything here has, pretty much everything here has reviews. <laughs> uh, and then here we have, what is this? Um, Nui Cobalt Designs, you guys. I have found some of my just these are going to be staples right here. These four. There was actually five, but I only ordered four full sizes. What I do is I get them from the little dram, transfer them to the sprayer, to the atomizer, and, and have at it. Also, I ordered a couple of candles in my favorite scents, and I thought, oh my goodness, the I've never seen a candle like this. I, it's so pretty, so light, I don't even want, I think I'm going to order another pair just to, um, just to burn it, because I, I, I love the way it looks, I just want it for display. <laughs> All right, next house, we have Coco Pink. We just got done reviewing Coco Pink. About two weeks on the channel, beautiful scents. I already placed my full size order. I only got 30 ml, some dry oils. And um, so yeah, feel free to check out that house. It's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be such a great house that I'll continue to purchase from. Now up here we have Poesy. They also made a great, great impression on me. Absolutely love their scents. And um, I have, I only got five full sizes, but yeah, totally love them. I said I was not gonna go through each scent, but I did wanna touch base on each house. Right here we have the house of, um, House of Gloy, actually. Wonderful pumpkin butters that they have. The big size pumpkin butters here are my favorite scents. And I actually have those. I don't have Sanctum yet, but in Eau de Parfum, I do have Tonka Bean Tea Cakes, You Pick, and Pink Marshmallow. They ended up being my absolute favorites. Um, but really good options here, you guys, for body care, um, body uh, splash, all of that. It's just, it's just a wonderful house. Um, really great scents. Um, this clothes needs to get out of the way eventually. <laughs> I swear to you, it's going to be gone. Um, over here, we have all the little decants that I made from House of Gloy to sample their scents. And then also, uh, we have some Poesy. Uh, these are all oils from Nui Cobalt Designs. These are only 1ml, but they're so potent. You just put them on your skin and, um, yeah, the, I don't want to just just toss them so and i don't want to lay them down either for fear that they'll spill so they got their own little spot their own little hangout spot so there you have one section of the scent closet which is our body care and our indie brands all right so i pretty much set everything up by brand um and here is the next section it's our what you see behind me when I'm in the videos, I'm already out of breath. <laughs> um, we'll start at the bottom. We'll start at the bottom here. Ow, my knees. I, did I show you guys the Victoria's Secret? It's not a huge 
area, like I said, <laughs> it's just one and a half little. But um, I do, I do really enjoy their scents. It's just, I just love um, the versatility of the Bath and Body Works. So here I have kind of my little miscellaneous area, different um, affordable fragrances. We have some celebrity fragrances here. We have some uh, just really affordable. And then right in the middle here, I'm collecting some Arabian scents so that I can go ahead and explore and um, do some reviews as well on the channel. Then here we have um, one of my favorite houses, Be Layered. They have just great, great inspired by fragrances. And they also have, um, what is it, original scents. I have quite a bit of reviews on comparing them to their originals, this house of Be Layered. Then here we have um, Ariana. <laughs> is it Ariana? I can, yeah, I believe so. Or, or yeah, Ariana. There we go. I always trip up on her name. Um, Ariana and we have Britney Spears. We have them here hanging out side by side. These turned out to be pretty much my favorites from um, their lines. I know um, Britney has a ton more scents. And maybe I'll get back to exploring them one day, but these these so far have been the ones to to really wow me. All right, so next section we have. Oh, I'm trying to trying to hurry up, but it's not working out because these are all my loves, you guys. I absolutely love fragrance. Okay, here we have our uh, Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. This this turned out to be my my favorites from the house. Um, so we have Grand Soir, Gentle Fluidity, um, Baccarat Rouge, the Extra, and the EDP, the, the what is it? Baccarat Rouge 540. Then we have um, Aqua Vite and Amaris Femme, some really light. Uh, I like to use those for the spring. They're going to be coming up. Here is just about all I could afford at the moment of Zerdrop Symphonium. I just added another little 2ml sample to my collection because, uh, yeah, that bottle is close to $700 uh, regular price. Um, I do have a tiny little Kobe bottle here that I have not, um, I did wear test it on the channel, but I haven't displayed it yet. And then we have the rest of our Zerdrops as well here, which I love this house. It is a it is a quality quality type scent you're going to get from these fragrances and especially those three in the middle lira italica and zerjop uh, cruz del sur 2 love them herba pura is amazing um i i love i love these <laughs> there is a couple i haven't done a full dedicated review to so i'll get back to that oh i didn't do the carousel the carousel is a little mix actually so uh that's gonna be a little hard but i do have some designer scents on here um the burberries your valentino i do have when I did the long comb week, I was so blown away by all the scents that I just started collecting them. So here they are. <laughs> we have the intent, the La Vie Belle Intensement. We have Edole. We have the Soleil Cristal. Um, and what is this? We have the and uh, La Vie Belle in Rose. And then the little the brat. This is the newest to the collection, which is the Nectar amazing little fragrance that one can't wait to wear it i already did a review it was based off of a sample waited to get it at a great price and here it is in the collection here we have the embrace by navitas perfumes amazing scent then we have here of course um my manceras these are just gonna last a lifetime they are so strong holidays instant crush and velvet vanilla then up here we have some Victoria's Secret roller balls. This is a work in progress, you guys. Um, my little carousels are all mixed up and it's driving me nuts, uh, but I'll definitely arrange them better soon. Here we have our YSL and a brand new Shabbat there, late de Vanille or Vani. Uh, can't wait to get in that. We got some mixed uh, decants. We do have, an, and then we have Soar Exclusive as well. They're from the house of um, Navitus. Wonderful fragrances, those are. And then here's my Nebras. I just love this bottle so much and it's so heavy. I didn't want to put it on a carousel. Um, and then I ran out of room down there. <laughs> so I was like, oh, we'll just put her here still. She'll, she'll hang out there on the shelf. Now these drawers right there, they are jam-packed 
full of rollers and samples and extras that I still need to organize. More travel sizes, um, just lots of odds odds and ends like you know th those are the drunk drawer the junk drawers <laughs> all right so going up here then we have our tom little tom ford collection i mostly have travel sizes and then i have uh four full size bottles and then uh also their their full size spray i did invest in a few dupes for tom ford because of their, uh, what is the word? Oh, and I have some more Tom Ford over here, actually. They didn't fit there. Oops, couldn't get that. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, here we go. These right here. These are the Tom Fords. I couldn't fit them over here, you guys. So, one thing to note about the Tom Ford travel sprays are that they are very, um, magnetic. <laughs> they pull, they, like, pull to each close together and then you're just like uh you know you risk drop i have dropped them many of time actually <laughs> because of that okay so um there we have our tom ford travel sprays i have black orchid tom ford soleil blanc neroli portofino quite a few amazing travel sprays there because i'm always going on a trip but never actually going on a trip <laughs> Here we have day three fragrances. Uh, I have five of their scents here and I do have a couple more on my other uh, carousel that I'll show you in a minute. Love this house. Day three fragrances is amazing. Um, Tacita de Cafe and Del Mar being my absolute favorites. Up here we have my favorite vanillas. St. Barth Vanier West Indies. Then we have Escapade Gourmand and Giuseppe Accident a la Vanier great great scents love those vanillas there we have creed aventus for her wonderful wonderful springtime summer scent and then in the back we have the dupe the La venture femme and also the dupe al hermain's amber oud gold oh sorry <laughs> is back there oh there you are um oh and then we have juna noor in the back as well so just kind of wanted to make the weight a little bit even so i put the heavier bottles uh, back there uh, because Mason Mataha Escapade Gourmand is so so heavy <laughs> all right so there you have what is in the middle then over here um, I kind of made a, a little some changes I made some changes there and also here to the organization on the bottom so again we'll start at the bottom real quick I have here I cannot get myself okay I started off with these fragrances here, my Juicy Couture, and so they're here. I don't wear them often, but when I do, um, I my husband loves these. This is the one right here that anytime I wear this, I will receive a compliment. That is Juicy Couture, the original. I have purchased bottles and bottles of that fragrance, and you know, that one's a fairly new replacement. Um, okay, so then here we have odds and ends, some hand creams and whatnot, and a couple more uh, really affordable vanillas. And over here, some, some more Victoria's Secret, kind of, uh, they're more recent scents. They're bare and they're very, very sexy oasis. I just got that fabulous in and that, and that Victoria's Secret Wicked, uh, from their semi-annual sale. So really excited about that had a great friend gift me this body butter the victoria's secret tease body butter back there i cannot wait to use that this summer uh it's gonna be amazing <laughs> okay so next we have let's move it on up oh sorry we were at the bottom uh for now i ran out of space so i could not arrange my dossiers you guys i have a ton of dossier fragrances in here here we have Floriental Marshmallow. I do love these scents, but unfortunately, they didn't fit anywhere. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll make room here. Maybe I'll declutter some Be Layered and add my dossier collection there. Um, but yeah, I just ran out of room. And honestly, I just got kind of tired too. <laughs> uh, or maybe I could put them here with Andromeda's Moon, tell you the truth. Okay, so next here we have Andromeda's Moon. And this is just one of my favorite, favorite uh, dupe houses inspired by fragrances. We have Tohoda there. 
amazing poets of berlin i have a ton of videos on this i know right now the turnaround time for andromeda's moon is really really long um so you know i'm not exactly sure what's happening there but i can 100 percent vouch for the quality of the fragrances they're amazing then we have sweet tooth absolutely love it i got a backup 30 ml the little travel kit and uh, you know the tall one Whew. okay so next we have um some this is genre perfumes right here i left a little room because with the next ordering window i want to order quite a bit of 10 mls because i love these because you can refill them i have the genres mellow vanilla i have it in the 50 the 30 i have it in the 10 ml then we have essence i really love the 15 ml size of essence i think it's so amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> then uh, i have the 5 mls there as well they're not refillable so i don't like them as much as the 10 ml but hey they're just samples so <laughs> they, i mean they're, they're good for what they they're supposed to be good for which is sampling then here we have pre-production perfumery new york these are some solid scents and i want to get back to trying them out because i had such a blast they base their fragrances off of um characters actually in movies so i have willy wonka is my absolute favorite from the house um there's this one called xi where are you that smells exactly like delina uh, Turkish rose, rhubarb, and lychee. So, so good. I wouldn't say exactly. There's definitely a twist, but it's in the same family. Then we have our backups right here in the corner. I decided, oh, we'll just put the backup, you know, bottles in the corner. Okay, so that was that section. Last little section, and I will head on out. This is uh, what you guys see behind me in the videos. So um wanted to make sure to um, just add a little flair to it. I know it was kind of just really 1D. I do feel like it looks really, really cluttered at the moment and it's driving me absolutely wild. But um, if I can figure out a better way to organize everything, I will. But let me know down in the comments what you feel about it because um, look, there's me in the mirror. <laughs> because I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I love this little Killian section. I got the Love by Killian going. I got all the little travel uh, uh, sprays. The the These are refillable, really, really amazing. And then this awesome contraption has a little carousel. So I thought that that was super cool. So I went ahead and added the rest of my Killian collection. Uh, my Princess, which is my absolute favorite. Um, Killian right there. Then we have some Valentino. At the top, I have some Armani and my little flower bomb collection. <laughs> I just absolutely love that carousel. I thought it turned out. I thought it turned out pretty good. <laughs> then we have their My Way and the Juliet has a gun as well. Um, a little further up here, we have some more oil perfumery oils my little mini bottle collection and then here of course our armani c line pretty much <laughs> i am missing the black intense version i'm not sure if i should get a hold of it or not it doesn't fit there the original c didn't fit there as well <laughs> and uh, yeah but anyways we can always put it in another section here i have my bum bum creams and then my makeup those are um, my anastasia be Beverly Hills palettes and yeah I really love makeup as well I love Pat McGrath lipsticks um here we got the labels and yeah so Pat McGrath lipsticks MAC lipsticks and whatnot here I have some more odds and ends some little um decants and samples all right so last little tower here Oh, here's La Tacita de Cafe in the new bottle and also Silent Rescue by Day 3 Fragrances and uh, amazing. I cannot wait to review Silent Rescue for you guys. I've been playing around with that. And then I have some more B-layer travel sizes here that I thought were really, really nice. Um, so here we have Moogler's uh, collection pretty much. Well, that's not Moogler. There we go. I put them all right here since these bottles are kind of uh they don't this one does stand up but i had to squeeze it in there the this is angel muse it doesn't really stand up so i just kind of laid them in here i thought it was okay here are the angel 
uh, flankers as well angel eye star angel o crozier then we have our alien goddess alien goddess intense a couple here by juliana's perfumes um yeah and then up top we have quite a bit of other decants and we have some kayali which we will be reviewing this week we are going to be jumping into kayali look what i did last night i chipped my nail <laughs> i chipped my nails all over the place then we have um some just some more you know random travel sprays and and whatnot here up there that's uh the scent i bought for my husband that he will likely never use <laughs> he is not into fragrances uh he does have a travel spray of it so that's what that's what we've been using for him when we leave the house and then we have some uh dolce and gabbana up there so uh, nothing really to see back here it's just a uh, extra bottles of goodness <laughs> that's an empty bottle of Vanier West Indies actually but yeah you guys that's the gist of it that is the scent closet tour I know I've been talking to you guys or telling you guys that I was going to uh, do this for you or show you everything we got going on in the collection for a while now so um still not 100 happy because um i feel like i need a bigger room honestly <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think um if you have any questions of course let me know i'm headed off to take my mother to the doctor's office so gotta get going but thank you so much for tuning in for being a part of this community and i hope that you are learning so so much and enjoying uh fragrances right along with me you have a blessed rest of your day your night or your evening and you stay blessed bye-bye stay safe <laughs>